Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again and today I am going to do my update on my pro team project pan 2020. This is the third update which means we get to refresh if we want to and change products out if we want to. There is one product that I will be changing out. Everything else will be the same. I did actually use up one product that was the uh, NYX uh, setting spray so that will be in my empties when I film that video um, so I will be replacing that with a new setting spray um, but to we will get going um, so for my primer we have the baby skin um, this is getting way down there um, I will be putting the amount of change that there is in the product on the screen because I don't have it in front of me so I can't remember how much things have changed some things have changed a lot some things have not changed at all um, this one has changed the NYX total control drops um, this if it was settled in the container which it's not um, you would see that it is actually down like here there. Like down here somewhere um, and yeah of course the weight has changed because of that the concealer is the Maybelline fit me concealer in ivory um, you see it's got a big gap in it um, and its weight has changed as well uh, next the two face powders um, you can clearly see on the back well maybe not clearly um, it doesn't really look like it's changed where that line is it's only changed like a little bit but um, the actual weight has changed um, and same with the uh, that one's the artist uh, artist selection which is from crown um, this one you can see below that line there's been a change of course there's change in the weight this is actually the physician's formula mineral finishing veil the highlighter the daybreak highlighter it doesn't look any different really I mean there's sort of a dent starting in the middle um, it basically looks exactly the same but it has been used and the weight has changed so um, the blush, the Rose Duo blush from Lacura. Again, it doesn't look any different, but the weight has changed. There's sort of a wear pattern starting a little bit in the middle. So that's good. The contour, which is the Havana contour from Astralis, it does look different. Um, I've been using it quite a bit as um, an eyeshadow so you can actually now see the ring line right there in the middle um, that shiny spot is not pan it is where um, a brush was not entirely dry and it's left like a little hard pan spot Right there in the middle but there's a fairly sizable dent um yeah so happy with where that one's at um now we come to the product that i am changing out this was the uh, clean color tanned raw bronzer and i did the scraping thing i did the um sticky tape thing to get the head pan off and then as soon as i go and use it it gets hard pan again and frankly I have enough bronzers in my collection that I don't need to keep one that is annoying me so I am decluttering that one that will be in an empties video and I'm going to replace it with this other one which um, may not last very long either it may just last three months this is from BR which is a cheap brand that you can get or well, used to be able to get on um, Shop Miss A it's a knockoff of the Physician's Formula bronzer. The, I think it's called Hello Happy or something. It's got like the 
love hearts in it which is just an overspray um, the bronzer underneath is actually quite bronze um, quite orange um, so I don't know how that's gonna go I'm gonna have to use a light hand but we will see uh, yeah. the makeup finishing spray that I replaced the NYX with is the revolution illuminating fixing spray don't like the sprayer on this it has terrible sprayer it's awful sprayer um, yeah so um, I'll be happy to use this one up I could put it into another container but I cannot be bothered um, but yeah the sprayer on this is sh absolute shite um, eye primer the revolution eye primer it's literally the only eye primer I have in my collection um, it's moved a little um, what else eyeliner the mellow gel eyeliner um, it's been attacked I've been trying to work out the right brush to use with it um, I don't seem to have the right brush for gel eyeliners I mean I generally use a liquid eyeliner so and that would be why <laughs> but none of my brushes seem to give me the finish that I want or the look that I want um, also in eyeliners we have the Lancome Noir um, it has moved it probably needs sharpening almost um, I mainly use it to tight line with the Rimmel Exaggerate in the Nude Eyeliner. I've used this a couple of times, but according to its weight, it weighs exactly the same, um, which is a little annoying. Eyebrow Pencil. Uh, this is the OXX Eyebrow Pencil. It's a bit on the warm side, but I use two other products with it, which stop that from being a big issue. It has um, significantly shortened. I literally have to... Um, actually need sharpening I literally have to sharpen it every single time I use it it is like super creamy and um, sometimes I actually have to sharpen it in the middle of using it uh, the eyebrow tint from Australis the tint my brow in blonde um, I started squeezing the air out of it when I closed it which took um, some weight off of it nearly a whole gram <laughs> uh, or nearly 0 0.1 of a gram or something off of the weight of it when I squeezed out the um, the air it's still got heaps of product in it though um, yeah the mascara I'm using is the balm what's your type I should probably change this out because it's been three months but I don't wear makeup every single day if I did then I would I don't I probably wear it on average maybe three times a week um, on a good week two times a week maybe some weeks not at all last month not very much because my uni went online and so it was kind of like um, I don't really need to worry about it um, but now we're doing zoom classrooms so I might actually make the effort for that <laughs> um, lip products the mocha rush anoxa lip liner um, I've used it a few times but the weight doesn't really seem to be changing very much um, when I weigh these things I weigh them with their lid on like all of them with their lid on and like the face powder I weigh it with the um, sponge inside of it so that it's actually measuring correctly um, so that's why some of the measurements you might think geez that weighs a lot it's probably the packaging that weighs a lot not the product um, we have tea and cookies from NYX liquid suede I know I've used this but I think it's like literally changed like two gra uh, point two of a gram or something um, same with the wine or mine lip gloss from Maybelline similar kind of story and a similar story with the max Vegas vault um, tiny tiny change probably use them only once uh, now onto things that have actually shown more of a change because they get used more often so the lip scrub from pretty sphere face in jelly bean um, I kind of have to stick my nail in there and scoop some out because uh, my nails too long um, you can see it's definitely being used 
um, the lip balm from Pretty for Your Face in Taste the Rainbow. Um, it it still has a significant amount to go, even though I use it quite a bit. Um, the day eye cream is still going. I still have no idea how much is left in it. Um, because it is an L's pump um, and the same with the revive moisture serum stuff I really like how this makes my skin feel like after I put it on I sometimes put this on and then don't put moisturizer on I just put this on because it feels so nice uh, my day moisturizer the Lacura daily face with SPF 15 quite like this as well it's a really nice moisturizer um, yeah my night products the eye cream not as much of a change in this because I keep not doing my makeup at night uh, doing my skincare at night um, and the same goes for the um, cream which you know it's been used a little bit it was completely full when we start started but uh, not as much as it probably should be because um, I haven't used it every single day um, and then the product which will probably be finished by next time I'm starting to have trouble getting the product out of this one is the Lacura Enchant hand cream in lotus flower and pink grapefruit I have been using this quite a bit um, and it is almost empty so this one will be replaced by next month with something else uh, yeah, so that is everything that is in my team project 2020. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button that's down over this side. Uh, click the little bell next to it so you get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pant Up videos and leave me a comment down below. I will like your comment and I will answer any questions you ask me. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya!